Hey there, what is going on? It's Rob from Panther and today I'm gonna show you how to make this interesting pattern. I bumped into this thing accidentally while I was making some weird stuff. So I'm gonna show you the process behind. But before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. I'm gonna create a new file and we're gonna make, make it on this. Uh, let me just put this here okay first thing we're gonna make a rectangle a square and make sure you deselect the fill you just click on the none and make sure you're on the stroke this way and now you're gonna press and hold oh just wait a sec i need to activate this yacht so you can see the shortcuts so i'm gonna put it right into the center press and hold shift plus alt and Hopefully it's going to create something and make the first, first uh, what is that, square. I'm going to press and hold shift, rotate it once. Uh, I'm going to check where the stroke is. Make sure the stroke is aligned to center and not inside or outside. So now it's in the center. Okay. <clears throat> or actually, I think it would be better outside. So just put it outside. Okay. So now go to the effects, distort and transform, transform. And I'm gonna create a lot of copies, like 30 or something. I'm gonna decrease to 89 per 89. And I'm gonna distort the angle. I'm gonna make some more copies until here it's gonna be a black and click OK and now you are ready. If you scale this down, as you can see, it's gonna become more thicker, but eventually it looks even better this way, I think. So anyways, I'm gonna create a new copy, so because I like that one. <clears throat> and from here, I'm gonna go to Object, Pattern, Make. And now we just did this. Change the grid to brick by row and decrease the height. As you can see, they start to touch each other. And we need to make this more precise. So I'm gonna add 0.5. Oh, sorry, 0.5, not. And this way it starts to come together more. So I'm gonna add some more. Let's, let me put it on seven. Let me try it out on 9 now. But uh, yeah, we should be there. Actually, I'm going to decrease it to 7 and I'm going to try it out on... Or maybe not. I'm going to also try to decrease 69.6 on this one. Yeah, this is pretty good. So I'm just going to hit the done here, up. It's right here, the done. Click it. And now I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to create a new rectangle, a box. And I'm going to press Shift plus X. So what this does, it switches from stroke to fill. But as you can see, you also can switch it from this, you know. Now it's on stroke again, it's now on fill again. But make sure the fill is on the top right now the stroke is on the top so if you add the effects it's gonna be on the stroke and not on the fill so make sure you click on the fill so it's on the top and now you can add the pattern so you go to the swatches and if you don't have the swatches go to windows and select swatches and just click on the new pattern it should be somewhere around here and there you go now we got the new pattern you can see a lot of pixelation going on right now because it's not expanded yet i also gonna change the um, size of this so i'm gonna go to object transform scale and then i'm gonna uncheck the transform object and increase the number of uniform i think this should be pretty okay i'm gonna click okay i'm gonna go to the pathfinder click unite if you don't have the pathfinder go to windows and select the pathfinder and now i gotta go to object and expand the periods nothing happened okay i'm gonna click it again expand click okay 
and boom there you go now it's expanded every line is clean it's a vector and of course now you can't edit the pattern anymore only you, you can edit the pattern when you you know it's pixelated when it's still not expanded but yeah it's a pretty cool effect it's a pretty interesting pattern uh, I always wanted to know how this is done so I did it accidentally so yeah basically this is how you do it thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other videos bye bye